Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, August the 4th. My name is Barry Anderson, the moderator of your room. Any questions prior to this email? This is the address to get into our free room, absolutely free, no strings attached, no credit card needed. You can be a guest. You don't have to be a, a subscriber of Trade Ideas to come into the room. This is a link if you do want to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas. And the room, I open the room at about 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. I get live at about, uh, uh, that's when I start sharing my screen. And then I get live on the mic a little after that, about 9.05. And we run normally about 3.30 every day Eastern Time. All right, what a day. Man, oh man, oh man. Anybody says that uh, the summers are uh, boring. Jeez, I mean, there's so many earnings plays, uh, first of all, that, you know, it's there's just so th that can be a bit of a problem because there's so many things to pick from. If you're in our room, I mean, there are so many fantastic. I ah, <laughs> just a minute, that just disappeared on me. Just got to find it. There we go. Nope, there it is. There are so many fantastic plays uh, to to pick from. Uh, can get a little overwhelming, you know. I, I say to people, you know, try not to. You start clicking on uh, a thousand different uh, symbols all day long and get nothing done. So anyway, um, I will show. I I did have a fixation on uh, Tiva early on, but uh, I do want to mention this trade. I am in this trade. This is a Holly alert. Um, in late 1804, I think the alert happened. Yeah, 1214 when I was on my break. But, uh, you know, I like this uh, setup. Uh, it was over the whole number. I'm in this one at uh, 1838. Sorry, 18, uh, 1832, sorry. Right about here. So, you know, based on the Holly alert, man, okay, based on the Holly alert, you know, I, I'm quite late. However, you know, I looked at the daily chart on it. Looked, on, looked at the daily chart. And what do you see? Nothing left, you know. I always say, look left, look left. So I looked at that and I said, okay, even though I'm late, but it is breaking free. I mean, it, it's uh, 1819 is the high over here. So I didn't feel I was so late on it that uh, it, it, you know, would create a problem. So I'm in this one and I have sold some out at uh, 1855. 1855, so right about here. Anyway. There we go. So I'm holding on to uh, a piece of it just to see if it can keep going. But a nice alert. I mean, if you get in at 18.04, even if uh, you can get in right there, all sorts of time to get in, you know, 18.10 or so. Okay. Um, boy, where do, I, where do I start? Tiva. Tiva was one that, you know, from yesterday, if you were in the room yesterday, you know it had the horrible day yesterday. I um, mean, it was down, I think, $20. Sorry about that. I have to should disable my uh, emails. And I kind of got fixated on, on shorting this one. And uh, if you saw the video yesterday, you know that I couldn't short it. Even though I was going in at the, um, uh, I was going in at the bid and I was watching the uptick at the ask, but they just would not fill me. And I tried about three or four times. I could not get a fill. So I actually did not think I was going to be able to get a fill today, but I did. Um, I shorted it at 21.97 when it broke down through the whole number. Just about right now, nah, it's close enough. It says 29. Shorted it there. I covered at 21.59, 21.49. I tried again at 21.67 and 21.59, but you see, all of a sudden, you know, it's sort of whippy. It's hard. It's hard to tell. I got whipped out on this candle here, and then it really collapsed and without me, unfortunately. But I know a lot of people in the room took advantage of that one and, uh, you know, it turned out to be just a great early, early short on uh, continued weakness down. Um, what else? K was a nice one. K, um, you know, well, nice one. I mean, it was a pretty gentle one. The real brought this to attention in, in our room. I ended up shorting it uh, just under the whole number. What was the price here? Uh, 69.90. Just underneath that whole number, I know it says 69.97, but there's a little lag when I uh, the uh, the screen sharing, the, the pro, what everything running. I have a bit of a lag when I'm doing this video. Anyway, short it right there. Nice, pretty gentle downward move. Um, uh, uh, sold, uh, covered some at 69.56, and I got out at six, uh, 69.60. Now the other one that was a lot of fun. <laughs> 
Wi-Fi. You know, it's pretty whippy, but another earnings play. Uh, earnings, uh, and you know, you can see right there, released earnings after hours yesterday. Really no big reaction, but then look when the market opened. And by the way, this this move area here is after hours yesterday. There was no reaction in the, in the pre-market because you can see there's no tan area. Uh, that which which so there was virtually no no uh, no trades at all in the pre-market uh, an earnings play you might say I got in very late of course it popped way up uh, I saw it I don't know exactly when I first saw it but um, got into the trade right over 19 over that whole number right about here right about here and look at the pop I mean you might say, okay, I, I've missed this big move. And of course, I would have loved to have known about it right here. But I think I was in this trade for just minutes, all right? Uh, it popped up to 1930. It got all the way to 1942. I sold some at 1931. And then I got and then a, a little profit uh, as it came back down. But I mean, there was such a quick, quick trade and, you know, just worked out really, really well. The one that didn't, unfortunately, was CNSL. Same sort of thing. It would have worked out, except I got knocked out here. Uh, another another earnings play. Got into the trade at 19, 1931, right up here, and it did pop up to nineteen thirty eight. High hopes. I think if you look, if we look at the daily, I think you'll see why. Yeah, you look at the daily. Look at the void. I, you know, look left, look left. You'll hear me say that a million times in the room. Look left on the daily chart to see if there, you know, what sort of resistance there is. So, anyway, I love that. It was an earnings play, but you know, you, they don't all work. Um, I got unfortunately whipped out here, took a small loss on it, and then it came right back. So, um, man, man, what a, what a day! Uh, I tell you, there was oh, e, I mean, EFI. I mean, there were some massive, massive moves today. Look at this one, just collapsed. Uh, I think there's a class action suit. Uh, we thought this was an earnings play, but maybe they haven't released earnings yet, but uh, you know, just a massive collapse. And the big one here. This is what happened after hours. This is why I do not hold over earnings. It's that simple. Uh, this is uh, earnings release. You know, this was a darling. Take a look at the daily. If you haven't been following, I mean, look at this move here over the last uh, several weeks. The darling, it almost got over a hundred dollars. Uh, I know a lot of people thought, okay, you know, they're going to have good earnings, um, and the earnings were good, revenues are good, but it's the guidance that was bad. Uh, they they were saying a big slowdown in the third quarter, and so the market just absolutely annihilated them. And now there's a class action suit just launched uh, also. So. Um, You'll hear me say a million times, I never hold over earnings. And you know what? Yes, this could have popped 20 bucks if it, if, if, if it had been great. I just don't need the aggravation. You know, it's that simple. I'll play it once the market opens. And yes, I'll miss and make a big $20 move uh, up or down. I get that. But I don't need the aggravation of, um, of, of, of you know, watching a move like this go against me. And uh, for all the ones that go up, you know, we probably get an equal number going down. So to me, it's just a gamble. Now, this is interesting. And fortunately, I have no shorts at uh, Interactive Brokers. You know, I tried to actually tried to short this one, and but there are no shorts available for me. Anyway, guys, there's so many, so many um, um, great, outstanding uh, setups today, uh, both on the long and the short side. So, I hope if you're not, if you've never been in our room before, I think you'll, uh, I think you'll love it. It's not, and it, it is not all about me. Uh, we just have a tremendous group of traders in the room, and uh, you know, uh, we're all trying to help each other. Also, uh, I share all my uh, uh, setups. If you are a trade idea subscriber, you know, I share all my setups and other. Uh, we have uh, great customers who are very willing to share their setups too. You know, when when it uh, when they see something that seems to be working for them, they're more than willing to share in the room. So, anyway, um, have a great weekend. Uh, you know, and we'll see you. Let me get this right here. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you bright and early Monday morning. As I say, I'll open the room at about 9 a.m. and get live on the mic at 9:05. And so, share my screen and live all day long. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.